Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the top 10 non-creature, or I'll just call them spells in modern. So number one is no surprise, it is Lightning Bolt at 45%. To give you just a runaway at how dominant Lightning Bolt is in modern, 45% is equivalent to all the scavenging oozes plus the spell skite. Those two cards in two very different decks. Scavenging Ooze, the number one creature in modern, is only played 24%. And something like a Tomogorf is only played 21% of decks. So when you talk about 45% of decks play Lightning Bolt, that's insane. That is absolute dominance by one card. The next card is Visions. Obviously, it got a reprint as a promo. It's I, I would love to see it as a common. Uh, just the fact that Something as simple as Draw Scry 2 is the second most played card at 26%. Again, that's a huge percentage, right, of decks playing that. Essentially, any deck in blue is going to play Visions. Uh, if you look at Snapcaster Mades, only 22% of decks play Snapcaster Mades, as opposed to Visions, where it's 26%. So that's pretty crazy. The next one is Path to Exile at 20%. Path being the premier removal, instant speed removal. Uh, that The top three doesn't make any, that makes a lot of sense to me. Lightning Bolt, Visions, Path. One color, instant speed, take care of that problem or allow you to draw better cards. So the next one is Inquisition of Kozak. And this is a little surprising to me. Inquisition of Kozak actually beats Thought Seize. And I think that depends on how many burn decks there are and Inquisition hits all the cards that you really want to hit, but in my opinion, I'd rather have Thought Seize. Um, Thought Seize does appear on this particular list, but Inquisition is at 20%, so it is number four. The next one, also at 20%, a little less, is Remand. So you have Visions and Remand being two and five. Blue is a very strong color in modern. Uh, the next one, well, I'll go with this one because it's not actually a land. So there's lands in between. Ink Moth Nexus is the next card because it's not really a land. It's more of a creature land -ish. It's at 17%, um, which is the same as Thought Seize. So Thought Seize being 17% Inquisition, you can play them both in some type of combination. But it is surprising that Inquisition at this current moment in time is played more than Thought Seize, mainly because of the damage uh, being more relevant. Now we get to the interesting stuff. So we have Terminate also at 17%. Terminate being an instant. Uh, the bolt for those Terminate promos already left, but they were a very interesting speculation when you, you had them. So you got Lightning Bolt at one, Visions at two, um, Path at three, Inquisition at four, Remand at five, Ink Moth at six, Thought Seize at seven, Terminate at eight, and now you have Ghost Quarter at 9. Ghost Quarter being very, very good in the type of deck I play, which is Knight of the Reliquary. I like that type of, um, it hits people very greedy. I mean, you have 10 Fesses and 10 Shock Lands among, you know, the Fast Lands and Filter Lands. And you have a ton of choices in how to build four color decks, right? I, something like Grixis Control or Grixis Twin is viable because that's actually not four colors. But uh, Tricolors is extremely easy to hit, and Blood Moon being one of the be better sideboard cards really does punish that type. But you have Abrupt Decay next after Ghost Quarter, and then I'll just read off a few more, because uh, it's all about the same. Kogan's Command uh, after Abrupt Decay, and Liliana the Veil at 15%, Cavern at 15%, Mox Opal at 15%, Glimmer Void 15%. Cryptic at 14%. So I'll take a little moment to talk about Abrupt Decay and Kolgan's Command. These are two cards that I've been, I've seen dominating my meta. Uh, two very strong cards and two cards that are interesting speculations. So uh, do you agree with this list? Do you feel like I left out a card? Uh, do you feel like they're not properly in place? Again, these are from the top 32 decks, um, number crunched, and they are the, you know, they are the decks that are currently win the, the cards in the decks are currently dominating modern at this point in time or in the previous modern season. Lightning Bolt, not a surprise. Visions, not a surprise. Um, Path, not a surprise. Inquisition, that's a surprise at four because I would feel like Thought Seize would be played way more than that. And then Remand at uh, six, 
uh, Income Office 7, Thought Seeds at 8, Terminate. Oh, okay, I skipped a few. So you got uh, Lightning Bolt at 1, Visions at 2, uh, Path of Free, Inquisition at 4, Reman at 5, Ink Moth at 6, Thought Seeds at 7, all the way down to 7. That's crazy. That card's seem. Terminate at 8, Ghost Quarter at 9, and then Abrupt Decay and Cold Gun's Command tied for 10. Uh, those are very interesting speculations because, again, Modern is an eternal format. So if you can trade for these cards, I highly recommend trading for them because I don't feel like they're going to lose value, especially when I look at Cold Gun's Command. That card is OP against Affinity. Like, that card I always want to see. But it's also very good against blue decks. Like, it kills the Snapcaster Mage and makes them discard a card, which is really annoying, um, especially since they're you know, drawing cards and filtering and things of that nature. Anyway, um, though, that is the top 10 spell cards in Modern. Bye, guys.